Michigan's roads. We'd all agree that a trip to the mall or driving to work means dodging pothole after pothole after pothole. Now the Michigan House is proposing a half billion dollar solution to fix the roads. And the good news, it seems, is that it won't impact your wallet, at least not right away. Gentlemen, you know, we the governor has asked for one point two billion uh, in new taxes. Bolger, Chase Bolger, the House Republican uh, leader, says he's got a way to do it without raising taxes, without raising fees. But he only comes up with half that money. Is that enough? And is it a reliable funding source? Well, it, it's better than what they have now. I, I think this is a half step because this mm -hmm. is ha legislatively speaking a half step because this is half of what Governor Snyder said we were going to need to address the problem. One was changing the formula for how we tax gasoline from mm -hmm. a per gallon tax to a wholesale tax. It's a much more stable revenue base and it has the potential to grow over time. That was part of it. Uh, but there needs to be an increase in that number, too, yeah. to generate the money that they need to do the job right. And I think mm -hmm. that's what people are frustrated about. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think Jace Bulger deserves some, some, some real credit. I mean, uh, we haven't it's an seen... election year. Well, we haven't seen anyone in the legislature really step up to, to, to meet the governor even halfway. Right. Uh, he's been talking about this for two years, and they've been sort of ignoring him. I mean, at least Bulger says, look, I can come up with a half billion this way, and I can do it without raising taxes now. Is that the smartest way to do it? Maybe, maybe not. But that's a it's a starting point, and, and it's a place we can start, a, you know, a discussion about how to get to that one point two billion. But it's coming out of the general fund. It's not a dedicated yeah. revenue stream, and I worry as the general fund fluctuates whether that money won't be vulnerable. Craig. Well, and and what other programs are going to be hit as a result of this? That's right. one of the details that we don't have yet about this plan. Is what does this mean? You can't just say, oh, it just comes out of the general fund. We're talking five hundred million dollars. Well, presumably they'll take it a lot of it out of the surplus but again that's money that uh, is wanted for a lot of other different yeah. things, and needed a lot of things. After, other different after groups after it's going to be an disinvestment yeah. I mean it's it's not an easy it's not an easy balance at some point we're gonna have to address the revenue part of this thing yeah I mean and, and I think there are some talk in the legislature about pairing this issue up with some other things that legislators are talking about right so so maybe you end up with a sales tax hike that gives a penny to roads and a penny to schools, or a penny to, to you know, uh, these some of these uh, proposals to to fund college tuition uh, for people. I mean, there's there's some stuff that that can that the governor could probably manipulate to get what what he needs out of this. But that takes our sales tax then to eight percent. Eight. Well, that's As, Steve, do you think there's an appetite are. in this? State go to Illinois. I mean, tax. Maryland, well, I don't Illinois. know that Illinois is a great example. But, but, but there are a lot of other states that are deemed to be low tax states, mm -hmm. but actually have a lot more fees. You know, why not just raise the fees that, that it costs you to get your driver's, your, your license plates every year? You know, Michigan actually is a relatively low cost state when it comes to operating a motor mm -hmm. vehicle. We don't have anywhere near the stringent oh. guidelines on what kind of vehicles you can drive. We don't have the inspection stations anymore. Right. So you can drive, if it's got a motor and wheels, you can drive it in Michigan and other states you would have to pay to fix that stuff up. All that money goes to the coffers to fix the road. And we're spending less per capita on our roads than most other, other states. But when you look at the condition of the roads and how far they've deteriorated since Governor Snyder made that proposal yep. initially, is $1.2 billion even enough? Well, I mean, $1.2 billion is what he says we need to maintain the roads. What we have. Right? To, 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 to stop. Well, you the, don't want to maintain them the, in this condition. Right. <laughs> so now, now, because of this winter, you need probably, well, I don't know, another... So certainly, they're they're going to spend 200 million uh, uh, fixing what's broken. Now you probably need maybe 500 million on top of that 1.2 billion but just to to make up for what we. I think it was the Road Builders Association said the <clears> number is <throat> closer to two billion a year. A year yeah. that is needed to do this. I, I just want to put this out there real quick. None of this would be happening right now if people hadn't gotten involved in the political process by <clears> calling their legislators, going to town hall meetings, mm -hmm. and letting people know how they feel because we were all told. Uh, six months ago that there's no way we could get anything done on this in an election year. And yet there's no indication yet that voters would be willing to tax themselves more to pay for the for smoothing yeah, out their Yeah, it's one road. of the most frustrating problems you have. Everyone complains about the roads. You mm -hmm. say, well, what if we uh, raise your, your license fee, your license plate fee to pay for it? Absolutely not. What if they've just put a tax on tire repairs this winter? Yeah, <laughs> Look how much. We're already, I mean, you right. go to any tire shop and people are lined up 10, 12, 
deep, yeah. paying three, four, five hundred dollars to fix tires and rims. But some of the things that I do like that are in there to sort of soften that inevitable blow that we're going to have to pay more. I like the idea of warranties, a longer warranties uh -huh. on the work that the road yeah. companies do to do There's this kind of stuff. That, that goes a long way towards making. People what about feel this truck weight better. buggy? <clears throat> Is there any uh, truth to that? Higher gonna, fees if yeah. you're going to be overweight. That's right. part of this too. I mean, we have the we have the lowest fees for for heavy trucks anywhere, and that's not you can't continue that. Yeah. Well, thanks guys. That's all the time we have this week for my week. Thanks so much for joining us, and remember, you can connect with us on Twitter, on Facebook, and at myweek.org. I'm Nolan Finley. We'll see you next week.